Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm here at SXM, St. Martin International Airport, which is over in uh, the Caribbean. Beautiful island, lovely place to go if you ever get a chance. Uh, and today I'm heading off on KLM. I'm going to be flying from here, St. Martin, over to Amsterdam, with a little stop in uh, Port of Spain at Trinidad on the way. Uh, flying in a business cabin, should be a really good flight. I'm really looking forward to this. I've never done KLM before. So it's a first for me. So I'd love it if you came along. Let's go. St. Martin Airport looks a little basic when you enter, although I expect that has more to do with Hurricane Irma and the ongoing rebuilding work. But check-in was quick, as was security. Hello, Kaelin, where are you from? Kaelin. Now business or? Yes. Airside, you have a choice of shops and cafes to while away the time, and plenty of seats. It is quite warm in there though, there isn't a lounge in the airport, so I headed down to my gate, which strangely was quite a lot cooler. Boarding was called and it was a walk to the aeroplane. And up the steps onto KLM's Airbus A330. I sat in the last row of the business cabin. It's a 222 seating config, which means it can be a bit of a pain getting out from the window seat if you have someone in the aisle. Luckily, I had no one sat next to me. On the seat is a lovely large pillow and a blanket, noise cancelling headphones and a reading light. On the other side was the TV remote, a socket for the KLM headphones and one for your own if you prefer that along with a USB slot. You got universal power in the centre console and there's a little cubby for your feet. A chilled glass of champagne and a lovely looking amenity kit were delivered as we waited for the rest of the passengers to board. Flying time first mark one hour and fifty minutes, one to five minutes away. Expect to depart shortly. The safety video was different. Hand painted delf tiles created an animation. Very creative. For your safety, make sure your carry-on luggage is stowed before taxi, takeoff and landing. There were lots of people waiting for this one to take off on Maho Beach. So we're on our way down to Port of Spain in Trinidad. Um, there's a snack coming out already. We've both been in the air about four minutes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's so good. So far, so good. Seat's quite comfortable. Um, it's a bit, missing a bit of stories though. But we'll explore that as we go on through the flight.
just had a, a little weird experience. Uh, I was sat here watching the TV and uh, I thought to myself, my seat's moving on its own. I couldn't work out why. And I realized it's, um, it's where the controls are. Let me show you. There's the controls and my elbows there. So it was moving the seat. <laughs> the wonders of technology. So that bit's in slightly the wrong place for me, um, but it should be all right when I lie down later. It wasn't long before Trinidad came into view, and we headed in for our short stop at the port of Spain. Cabo crew, take your seats. first leg over we're on the ground in uh, Port of Spain um, so we've got about an hour and a half on the ground here I believe until we take off for our long trek to Amsterdam um, so far so good had a couple of beers um, some cheesy biscuits which are really quite nice <laughs> surprisingly it was cheese or caramel what a choice um, but just a little snack and dinner will be coming later when we get away from here So it's a full change round here in Port of Spain. Um, the crew that came from Amsterdam and carried on through St. Martin get off here. Uh, so I've got a day before they come back and one lucky lady's got three days. She was very happy about that. She's the only one on the flight. But, uh, I'm sure she'll have a nice time. Uh, so we've got the caterers on, they're replenishing all the catering, the cleaners are on, changing all the bedding and pillows and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's busy, it's like an Olympic sport cleaning an airplane. <laughs> In-flight entertainment is, uh, you've got a nice big screen on there. Um, yeah, it's really clear. It suffers a bit from reflection, because it's not a matte screen, but that'll be alright on a night flight, or if you close your windows. So it's still on the ground here at Port of Spain. Um, got a, another welcome glass of champagne. We've been sat here for a while and menus so I'll look at the menu please make sure that your tray table and video screen have been stowed away that the back of your seat is in the upright position and that your headrest has been pushed out if you like these videos, why not subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll know when I post new ones. It'd be great if you did. After takeoff, hot towels were distributed, along with more champagne and a huge tray of nuts. Out of the window, the moon was on the rise and the sun was on the set. And then came dinner. My starter was seared baby scallops with a salad and bread roll. Salt and pepper came in a pair of clogs. How very Dutch.
The cutlery looked fantastic. I'd have them at home. It was very good. The sun set some more and the main course arrived. I went for the cheese ravioli, which was surprisingly tasty and not at all stodgy, which ravioli can be. And then dessert was a chocolate brownie, cream puff and a fruit tart, all finished off with a chocolate house. A delicious meal. After dinner, I took a trip to the loo which is decorated with images of the Delft houses that they give you at the end of your flight in business class. You'll find Rituals toiletries with KLM branding and everything else you need to make a successful trip to the bathroom. Even a real tulip. Or is it? Feed me Seymour. And my day was done. I managed about five hours sleep across the Atlantic. The bed's fairly comfortable, but for me, it was a bit tight around the shoulders. It's not too bad if you lie on your side. At this point we were off the south coast of Ireland and the sun was on the rise. The cabin crew set about serving breakfast of fruit, yoghurt, granola, some bread and smoked salmon. Anyone want it? I also had a fruit juice, a cup of tea and my own Delft house. Good morning um, on this KLM flight. We're heading into Amsterdam. Uh, we're just going over, I think it's sort of Bristol. We're turning a bit now. Are we going left? I don't know. Anyway, we're heading to Amsterdam uh, and we should be on the ground in less than an hour. Um, been a comfortably enough flight overnight, obviously you don't get the sleep that you would in your own lovely bed but yeah you get it get some which is uh, not too bad in a, in a flat bed let's have a look at the uh, I mean to get the uh, it's quite nice yeah it's quite nice in the colors you get lip balm toothpaste face moisturizer Socks and a toothbrush, eye mask and earplugs, and a little pen. Not bad. Should be landing soon. 24 minutes to Amsterdam. Just going out out the east of England, over the, the Channel, the North Sea, and drop into Amsterdam. And that's it, a great flight with KLM, I really enjoyed it. The crew were absolutely fantastic, the food was good and I will definitely fly with them again in the future. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.